the sun is out, the stadium looks beautiful, and the uh, crowning touch is now almost upon us. We're waiting for the trucks to come in with the six crates of the statue, which have to be put together by the actual sculptors. We're here with Mayor Linda Balzotti as the statue arrives to Brockton. Uh, Madam Mayor, great day for Brockton. Oh, it's terrific. It's the uh, beginning of all the excitement now. We finally see uh, the statue, the real statue. We know it's here. We know it's done. And uh, no more speculation about whether it'll be here or not. It will be. And uh, this will begin on over a week of activities in terms of getting it put together and then having events to celebrate it, culminating with the actual unveiling on Sunday the 23rd at 1 right here at Brockton High School. Well, it's, it's the beginning of what we hope is going to be about 10 great days in a row as we lead up to the, uh, the unveiling of the statue on the 23rd. But I think after years of anticipation and conversation, the fact that Rocky is actually coming home today. Even if he's still in pieces, it's, it's a big day to, to know that the statue is here and now we begin assembling it and getting ready for the 23rd. Yeah, you know, it started off when the post office decided to issue a uh, Rocky Marciano stamp and that was probably uh, 12, 13 years ago. And uh, from there, uh, we got involved with naming the, Rock, the post office, the Rocky Marciano post office. And after that, uh, we got the uh, into the uh, Rocky Marciano statue. The whole process has been, as I say, about 13 years. Well, for me, it, it holds uh, even special memories than just being a Brocktonian and being an Italian in that my father actually played football at the high school with uh, Rocky, and there's actually some pictures uh, to uh, attest to that. So for me, it, it kind of ties all in even a family aspect and um, having pride in my city, which I always have, I'm very proud to be a Brocktonian, very proud to be a Brockton boxer, so it's, it's just a terrific feeling. To me, one of the reasons as a member of the school committee why I'm so thrilled that this uh, statue is being placed here at Marciano Stadium on the campus of Brockton High School is because I really believe that for the young people that are here in the Brockton schools today and here at Brockton High School, the Rocky Marciano story and what that statue stands for is just as meaningful to the young people here in Brockton today a large percentage of whom are children of immigrants, are immigrants themselves, and, and the, the, the role model that Rocky Marciano represents of being uh, a son of immigrants who fought his way uh, out of the city and out of the shoe factories and made himself into the heavyweight champion of the world. I think that story is relevant to thousands of students inside Brockton High School today and it's great that, that, that we're going to teach that history of Brockton, we're going to teach the Rocky Marciano story through the statue. I want to present you with the unlocking of the truck and the crates on top that was handed to me. And this is a wonderful memento of what we're starting. Thank you. And thank you all, all the members of the committee for the hard work. What a great day this is for the city with more wonderful days to come as we get to unveil this and, and see and put Rocky back home where he belongs. Absolutely. Thank you. Very good.